Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eric from JPC again. Um, we are going to, this time, go over how to load a tune into your AEM Infinity once you get the firmware, once you get it registered, get the firmware loaded up, everything's ready to go. You need to load a tune and get the thing started up. So first thing we need to do is basically get hooked up to the ECU. Right now, we're, we're showing live data to an ECU. This is with the base stuff. Uh, that comes with the Coyote firmware. So we're going to load, we're going to import a tune. So basically we're just going to go here to import calibration data. We're going to pick whichever tune. We're just going to pick this one because this is one I got in this folder. Um, hit open. You're going to go through. It's going to read out all your stuff and get situated. So now it's importing all the stuff that we need. It's going to restart. And we are hooked up. We got a we got a tune file in here. We got the tune file that we have for this car we're working on. This happens to be like a Turbo Coyote. So the tune is now there. Um, we're looking at it live. And basically from here, the only thing you need to do to save this deal into the ECU is turn the ignition off. Um, so it's not one of these things where you can just cycle the key real quick. The relays take about five to seven seconds to power down. You'll hear them click, and then you will see the dash, all your stuff go blank here. Um, so generally, I'll just count to, you know, five, six, seven in my head, whatever. Just give it a few seconds. Flip the ignition back on, and it's going to power up. And the, now the tune is saved in the ECU. So it's a it's a pretty easy step to load a file in here um next thing you're going to want to probably do if you're going to hit the key um, start it for the first time or whatever maybe go to your dash page um, and you can configure all of these different things to whatever you want to see this this is just a standard layout it has engine speed you have vehicle speed your map lambda one two spark timing you know so on and so forth uh, maybe this is a little bit too hard for you to see um, it, it's very easy to to configure any of this stuff to whatever you want this is an engine protection um, we can change the channel on this to say if you want to make it lambda one uh, it's right here lambda one okay and now it's going to give you an actual readout so we can we can change all of these things if you want to make this fuel pressure or or whatever you want to do you're just going to set the channel type it in for for what you're looking for um, and and set it up so here's fuel pressure PSI gauge um, all, all of this is hundred and ten percent configurable this is all just showing because we're not actually hooked into a car right now I just have a box hooked into my desktop PC so it's it's all kind of defaulting right now so it doesn't give you accurate numbers but regardless that that's how you would do that you can set all this up um, you know, check everything out. And if you want to log your first startup, you would just, you know, turn everything on just like this. You're ready to hit the key. You get your fuel pressure on. And if, uh, real easy, if you hit control L, it's going to start logging. You know, it's logging because this bottom plot here is going to be moving along with information. You crank the key and you're going to see all of this stuff start to move your lambdas so on and so forth for starting engine RPM, so on and so forth. When you're done logging, before you hit the ignition switch, you just want to hit control L again, and it's going to ask you to save. Yes. And we can name it, you know, whatever you want. Test save. Boom. And that's going to save it right to your desktop. So very easy. Uh, you can do that while you're cranking it, trying to start it, you know, whatever you're doing, making a dyno pull first run down the street, whatever. Uh, so once you have the log, then it, it's really simple from there. The next video I'm going to go into uh, how to open your tune with a log file and make your changes. But that's the basics on getting started. Hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys haven't got any questions, make sure you post them below. Thank you.